Welcome to our CFML coding tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with dynamic variables. Our viewer asks, how can I convert an evaluate query string to structure syntax in CFML? Let's break down the challenge. The viewer has a loop where they're dynamically setting a variable to retrieve advisor IDs. However, they're currently using the evaluate function, which can slow down performance. They want to know how to rewrite this using structure syntax instead. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. Let's start by understanding the original code. In this code, we are using a dynamic variable called temp to reference the advisor ID from a query result. This is done using the evaluate function, which can be slow and inefficient. To improve performance, we can eliminate the use of evaluate by utilizing structure syntax. This allows us to directly access the desired value without the overhead of evaluation. Now let's rewrite the code. Instead of setting temp with a string that needs evaluation, we will directly access the advisor ID using the loop count. This makes the code cleaner and faster. Finally, ensure that you replace all instances where temp was used with the new advisor ID variable. This will maintain the functionality of your application while improving its efficiency. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The current approach is overly complicated. Start by setting up the elements that remain constant outside the loop. Next, perform your loop to process each advisor. Assign the advisor ID and call the method to get appointments. Remember, the method's return value is not specified, which could influence how you handle the results. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To convert a query string to structure syntax in CFML, use the query to struct function. First, create an array to hold the structures from your query. Next, execute your query to retrieve the data. Then, fill the array with the structure created from the query using query to struct. Finally, loop through the array to access and output the values as needed. For more information on query to struct, check the provided link. Here's a screenshot showing it in action. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To convert an evaluate query string to structure syntax in CFML, 
you can use a cleaner approach by referencing the query with a variable name. For example, instead of using the original variable directly, assign it to a new variable. Additionally, when managing multiple queries, consider organizing them into a structure or a list. This allows for easier iteration and more descriptive naming. If the order of queries matters, you can loop over a predefined list or array. This list can also be generated dynamically, providing flexibility in your code. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.